dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 802 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It's Unit 9, Lesson 2, Present Real Conditional. In order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 1 Students Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Three, a pen or a pencil. Four, a dictionary. Lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use uh, present real conditional and writing sentences. So, wh so what is the present real conditional? Here is an example. I, day of, I usually to the mall. In order for us to use the conditional, we do this. If I have a day off, I usually go to the mall. Another example, Adil often in the park, he time. Adil often plays in the park if he has time. Another example, we ice it, full stop. If we heat ice, it melts. So what is the present real conditional? It is, it is used to talk about uh, general truths, scientific facts, habits, or daily routines. So what does that mean? Well, if we have the timeline. We have the present, the past, and the future. The present real conditional is used to talk about general truths which happen in all the time, the past, present, and future. So, you'll find the truth in here, the facts, habits, and daily routines. So, uses of present real conditional. We have types. The first type, general truth. For example, if you, if you eat healthy, you live longer. Scientific fact. If you heat ice, it melts. Habit. If you have a day off, I go to the beach. Daily routine. If I'm late to my class, I give an excuse. Present real conditional, present simple. We have two clauses, the F clause and the main clause. In the F clause, you start with F plus a subject plus present simple. In the main clause, of course, do not forget the comma. In the main clause, you have subject plus present simple and the full stop. For example, if you exercise, you become fit. You have F, subject U, present simple, exercise, subject U, become fit, and don't forget the comma and the full stop. And the, another example, if she calls, comma, he answers, full stop. If they come late, comma, we sit in the front, full stop. And you can flip them. So you can start with the main clause, and end with the F clause. You start with subject plus present simple, then F, and pay attention to the, the I in F. It is in lowercase, plus the subject, present simple, full stop. You become fit if you exercise. So the Y in U is capital, and there is no comma. The I in F is lowercase, and you end with a full stop. He answers if she calls, full stop. We sit in the front if they come late, full stop. So let's do a task. Fill in the gaps in the following, and you have three marks. Number one, you read every day, you become smart. Quickly answer that in a piece of paper. All right, let's take a look. F, if you got it right, give yourself a mark. Number two, if it's a lot, comma, the ground gets wet, rain. All right, let's see the answer. If it rains, this is present simple. Number three, if you sleep early, comma, you early, wake up.
All right, let's take a look. If you wake up early, all right, so give yourself a mark out of three. Present real conditional imperative. We have if clause and may clause, just like before. You start with if plus subject plus present simple comma, and then present simple full stop. Let's take a look. If you reach home comma, call me, call me, full stop. If he does his homework, comma, give him a gift. If they come late, comma, remind them to sign. So what is the imperative? You'll see that it is missing something. If you put you, you call me. You give him a gift. You remind them to sign. But with the imperative, you cannot use that. So you have to take it off. All right. And you can switch them. Main close, then F close. You start with the present simple, then F plus subject plus present simple, full stop. Call me, and pay attention to the C in call. It is in uppercase. If you reach home, the I in F is lowercase. Give him a gift if he does his homework, full stop. Remind them to sign if they come late, full stop. Let's have a quick task. Fill in the gaps in the following, and you have a mark of three. Number one, pick up the phone if somebody call. So what is the answer? All right, let's take a look. If somebody calls, present simple. If you order gap here, pick it up and B. The answer is, is. If your order is here, pick it up. Three. For five minutes, if you hear the bell, wait. Wait for five minutes if you hear the bell. And please pay attention to the W. It is in uppercase. If you have all of them correct, give yourself a mark of three. All right. Present real conditional model. We start with the F close, we end with the main close. So we have F plus subject plus present simple, comma. Subject plus model plus verb, full stop. Let's take a look. If you reach home, you can call me. And can is a model. If he does his homework, comma, she should give him a gift. So should is a model. If they come late, comma, I must remind them to sign. Must is a model. You can flip them again. Subject plus model plus verb. If subject, present simple, full stop. You can call me if you reach home, full stop. The Y in U is capital. The I in F is lowercase. There is no comma. She should give him a gift if he does his homework. I must remind them to sign if they come late. Full stop. Task three. Fill in the gaps in the following, and you have a mark of three. Number one. If I earn money, comma, I should it. Save between, uh, quotation, uh, between brackets. All right, let's take a look. Ah, save. Save, it is a verb that comes after model. You do not change it. Number two, if Hussam wins, he tell his father, should. Let's take a look. If Hussam wins, he should tell his father. You do not change should. Three, Huda might happy, comma, if you give her a gift, B. All right, let's take a look. Huda might be. B is a base form of the verb be. B comes in three forms, is, am, and are. After might, you change it to the base form, which is be. Give yourself a mark of three. 
task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. A, combine the two sentences into one using the present real conditional, like the example below, number one. Nusreen buys something new, dot. She always finds a good deal, full stop. So we, we'd like to combine them, uh, the two sentences into one using the present real conditional, like the example. And this is for a mark of six. If Nisreen buys something new, comma, she always finds a good deal. So what has changed? We added if in the beginning, in the if close um, part of the sentence. And then we added comma at the end of the if close. And then we lower case the S in she in the main clause. All right, let's take a look at the other examples. Two, Alina signs up for the store newspaper. She can get coupons for some items. Three, she should get a separate email address. She doesn't want junk email messages. You can save a lot of money. You know ways of shopping smart. So we have five minutes to do this.
All right, the five minutes uh, are up. Now let's check. Model answer A. Number one, if Alina signs up for the store newspaper, comma, she can get coupons for some items. Two, she should get a separate email address if she doesn't want junk email messages. Three, you can save a lot of money if you know ways of shopping smart. So give yourself a mark of six. We have task five. In your notebooks, answer the following. B, question, write four sentences in present real conditional using the following. And you have a mark of eight. And you have five minutes. Number one, I drive fast, might get an accident. You have to form that into a real sentence. Two, the movie be boring, not watch. You eat junk food, should stop. He go to the mall, his father should call him. You have five minutes to do this.
the, eight, the five minutes are up. Now let's move to the model answer. Before we do that, there is a self-correcting tool. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Two, a full stop. Three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word used in a dictionary. Four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now the model answer. Number one, if I drive fast, comma, I might get an accident. Number two, if the movie is boring, comma, don't watch it. Three, you should stop if you eat junk food. Four, if he goes to the mall, comma, his father should call him. Well done. Give yourself a tap on the back for finishing the lesson and give yourself two marks, then calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. You are able to use the real, the present real conditioner on writing sentences. And the mark is out of 25. If you have got 100%, that means 25 marks correct, you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have less than that, which is about 19 marks, you can go over the, uh, the part you failed in. If you have lower than 19 marks, you can redo the lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.